Oh, wow. Good morning, ladies. GitHub Actions was a feature that was added to GitHub in 2018 that provides a continuous integration and development pipeline by automating testing, deploying, and other monotonous tasks required from developers in the programming lifecycle. Basically, Actions allow any developer to either build their own custom workflow or pick from the thousands of pre-built ones on GitHub, which will automate some task in their project when some predetermined event is fired. Now that I've gotten the most painful intro of all time over with, what the hell am I actually talking about? Maybe I have the IQ of a rock, but actions were actually kind of a hard concept for me to grasp when I started to mess around with them. So let me break it down for you with an example and a few fancy edits. Let's say that I have a project for a web app here. We make edits to our code, write the most vague commit message of all time, and then push our code to a remote repository solution. See my video on Git if what I just said doesn't make sense. From there, we run the CLI command that corresponds with our web hosting platform of our choosing, and we're done is what I would say if I were an idiot. Let me give you a more complicated, time-consuming, and confusing solution to our workflow because we're developers, that's what we do. Let's go back into our project. Like I said, we made our edits, but what's that? A wild.github folder has appeared. Inside of this folder, we have our workflows folder, and inside of there, we have a .yaml file. Inside of this YAML file, we have a bunch of instructions that dictate how our workflow behaves. To start, we preface the instructions by defining the predetermined event that I talked about just a second ago. So here, this workflow will be fired when we push a new commit to the main branch. This could either be a direct push or a pull request. Then, inside of the jobs are the main body of the workflow. In this workflow, we start with the test phase. GitHub's action servers will automatically provision a Docker container with the latest version of Ubuntu, Node.js, and all the required dependencies you need for your project. Then it will run the tests just like you would do locally. Of course, your tests are gonna fail because you write bad code, but once you get them fixed, you can run the action again and it will proceed into the deploy phase. For this example, we're deploying to Firebase, but you can choose pretty much anywhere to deploy to. Anyways, we can see the needs flag, which means the tests must run successfully as they are now a dependency of the deploy stage. After this need is fulfilled, we start to run the deploy commands. Inside of the steps area of our file, these are the steps that the action will run in sequence when the event is fired. We start out with the actions checkout. Basically all this does is it pulls our code from our GitHub repository into the action server so it can use it during runtime. Next, it installs the Firebase CLI. Just like how you do this locally, it uses the NPM package manager and installs all the required tools for this. Then we log into Firebase. This also uses a separate action as a dependency, which is the action written by Firebase. It runs the login command and then the GitHub action server is synced with your Firebase project. Then finally, we run the Firebase deploy command and our site is deployed to Firebase. This is actually a pretty simple action script in the large scope of things. You can write actions for continuous integration and continuous deployment like we've done here. You can run quality checks. You can even hook into notification APIs to send notifications to your Slack or email, depending on how the action is currently running. I've also found actions to be great when you're publishing packages to NPM, Docker, PyPy, or whatever. One thing I wanna mention really quick is that the Firebase token that is accessed in this file is actually meant to be stored in the GitHub secret key store that you can access through your GitHub account. This literally took me like six months to figure out, so you're welcome. After all this, GitHub cleans up the environment and your site is deployed. The entire process of running actions is completely monitorable inside of GitHub. And to do this, you just go to the actions tab inside of your repository. It shows everything that's currently happening and even gives you command line output for some debugging if needed. And I wanna to touch on the actions marketplace really quickly as I start to wrap this video up. There's hundreds, probably thousands of pre-written actions that you can integrate into your project at your will. You can even fill out a two minute survey for an action template to be made if you can't find it on the marketplace. Most of the actions that you will use will be just fine right out of the box. Deploying, testing, running, etc. You can add your own layer of pizzazz to the YAML file if you're an overachiever, and I hate you. But the last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to GitHub Actions is what do I think about it? Seven out of 10, whole lot of action, not a lot of motion.